All right, so what's going on guys? My name is Derek Noni. I coach for Face Off Factory with Joe. Uh, I've been coaching for Face Off Factory for about eight years now. Uh, started when I was in college. I actually was a student uh, when I was in late high school, early college, and then I started coaching and now I'm here. I currently coach at St. Anselm College, Division II, and um, yeah, ready to get after it. So, uh, first things first, we're gonna get through a quick warm up, okay? But before we do that, is there any emphasis or things you guys wanna go over tonight in terms of technique or anything? Nothing, not one thing. Alex, Alex? Getting out quick. Getting out quick. Quick clamps? Yeah, we can go over quick clamps briefly. Anything else? No? What? Rake. Rake? Oh, that's a good point. We could do rakes versus clamps. What? Yes, because we know that's an issue with you. But, all right, everybody is gonna grab a ball, grab a spot on this white line, and we're gonna get you through a quick warm up. First things first, we're gonna start with ball chops. Everything we do right now is just to get your hands warm. Don't worry about technique right now, okay? So, ball chops, down set whistle, second whistle, stop, relax, okay, ready? Down. Set. Down. Set. Gotta, gotta fix your form in a second. Down. Set. Yo, French. Down. Set. Down. Shit. Cool, next, we're gonna get into right hand punch. So when we're doing this, we're going right hand only, okay? I really want you guys to focus. Make sure that ball is in the top of your stick when lining up. Down set whistle, driving down the line, ball in the throat of your stick, okay? Right hand punch only, ready. Down. Shit. Down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. All right, cool. So, next, we're going to get into left hand punches, all right? Same thing as right hand. We're coming down the line with our left hand ball in the throat of our stick. What I wa don't want to see is left hand punch and you punch just forward, okay? You're not gonna get the ball. Down the whistle, or down the line, down set whistle, okay? Ready? Down. Set. Down. Set. Set. Down. Set. Last one, down. Sit. Cool. All right. We did right hand, we did left hand. What's next? Two hand. Two hand, right? I want you guys lining up. Still, ball top your stick, down set whistle, snap on the ball down the line. Try and keep your left hand low on this, but overall, you just want that ball in the throat of your stick, okay? Ready. Down. Set. Down. Set. Down. Set. Down. Set. Down. Set. Down. French, those guys you just talked to, could you just take them aside and give them like an overall like foundation instructional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you guys can go with uh, French right now. He talks to you, you, and you. Right, those three? Anyone else? Good. All right, cool. All right, so now, 
Uh, let's get into what do we want to go over? Quick, cl quick clamps and then rakes versus clamps. So we'll get into quick clamps to start. All right. Does everybody know? Everybody here should know how to pitch, pop, exit, all that stuff, right? We good on that? All right, cool. So when we're quick clamping, okay, especially when I quick clamp, I'm focusing on getting 20 to 40 percent of the ball, okay? I'm lining up, right? And obviously, the closer you are to the ball, the more of the ball you can get off that whistle. So when I line up. I'm not only light on my hands, right? I'm kind of bending this elbow a little bit more. I know just then I emphasize driving down the line, but for a uh, quick clamp, you want to punch a little bit forward, all right? You want to punch forward because you're using your opponent's pressure to gain control of the ball and rip it forward. Next, off that whistle, you guys are lifting that left hand down the line, okay? So down set, whistle, right? You're coming here like that. The third step is pulling it out. Down set, whistle, and you're literally just ripping through the other guy's stick, coming forward, okay? Now, in order to kind of practice this, we're gonna partner up, Alex, from here. We're gonna partner up, and all we're gonna do is quick, quick clamp versus quick clamp, okay? You guys are just gonna try to go in and out as quick as possible. So you guys come over here so you can see. This is kind of the best way, I think, to practice it. So we're gonna line up down, and then set whistle, in, out. Right, you're in and out. I don't want you guys staying in, going for a full clamp. Get the muscle memory of in and out. Do we have any questions? No? Cool, all right, partner up and let's get after it. Shit! Yeah, we're, both partners are quick clamping, okay? Early. Shit! You gotta go, yeah, you gotta go quick in and out, right? You're driving down the line trying to get that ball. Also, bring your head, you can get a little bit close to that ball, okay? Down! Shit! There you go. Shit! Both of you, gotta be quicker, right? Gotta be super quick. You go to the prop? Yeah. What year are you? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman? Nice, dude. I went to the prop. Set. Better, both of you. Make sure you focus on in and out. With you, I think the biggest thing that's inhibiting you is when you line up. So ready, I'll explain right now. Down! Go down, both of you. Yeah, so you see how you're, he's closer to the ball? He has an advantage. I want you to try to get like right here, and then you can get a little bit further away like that. Right there. Down! Shit! Better. Next step is punching towards the ball and getting it out. That's also what, a, that's a brand new head? Yeah. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be a little bit tougher with a newer head, but that was better. Down. Shit. <laughs> that's what I thought. What's up? Down. Oh. Damn. Shit. What do you think you need to do a better job of? No, dude. Literally just in and out. You're going and pausing, right? The purpose of this drill is just to go in and out and see where you're at, right? So focus on in and out right away, okay? Damn. Shit. You got more of it right on that one, right? Down. Set. There you go. Don't lift your chest right after you go towards the ball, right? You're coming here, you're coming here, and then standing up. And pull it through, right? Keep your head over your glove. 
like that. Set. Look at that. Fast break goal. Do you know what you need to do a better job of? Uh, I need to stop pausing in the middle. I need to pull out and bend my left arm towards the ball more. A little bit, yeah. Those are all actually great observations, but I think off the whistle, just lift your hand and press the ball a little bit more. Will help you get a little bit more of that. Down! Set. Better. Set. Have you gotten any of them? Yeah. I'm Have you? Were you looking forward on that one? Yeah. Learning. That's one of the things I did to like kind of learn. Just go in and out. Just looking forward or not looking at the ball. Down. Set. Oh, good job, both of you. All right, bring it up. All right, next thing we're gonna go over is rakes. So I'm super stoked we went over quick clamps first because that's one of the two ways to counter a rake is a quick clamp. What's the other way? Crank, crank back, yes, but I'm looking for something a little bit more general than a crank back. Just simply what? Thank you, Alex. Getting down the line, right? The complete opposite of a quick clamp, okay? So if a guy's raking you and it's, it's successful, those are two things you can try. We just went over how to quick clamp. Now we're gonna go over how to drive down the line and really cut our opponent off from getting that rake. So when we're going down the line and making sure to get a piece of that ball so it doesn't just fly forward, we're really focusing on a little bit of hand pressure and driving our left hand towards us down the line. What that's gonna do is, down set whistle, it's gonna allow us to snap this top sidewall over the ball before he can get it out. If you're not quick enough, it'll drive down the line and typically, if the guy is really good at rakes, the ball will end up right here in the top of your stick. That's why you go down the line with it, reset your feet, and then exit. No, not if you're good enough. But, um, anyway, so with those two things in mind, we're gonna go different partners, all right? Rakes versus clamps, okay? We're gonna just switch every other rake who, who's raking. All right, does that make sense? Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions on how to rake? No? Everybody knows? Understands? What? You, you want to try to get your sidewall to the ball. So when I'm raking, my objective is to have my hand open like this, off the whistle, down set whistle. I'm closing, stabbing at the ball, and ripping with my left hand, okay? That scissor rake is how I rake, just because I make more contact with the ball than just like swiping like that and standing up. I make more contact with the ball and going against like stronger guys, it's easier to get it out. So do whatever's comfortable for you. If it's not working, do the other way. All right, new partners, clamps versus rakes. Let's go. Shit. Pull it out. What are you doing? Finish the rep. I was lazy. Now we're switching. We're switching every face off. Who's raking, okay? Down! Set! Good job. You did a good job keeping in your throat. Pinch and then exit so it doesn't open you up for counters, okay? Down! Set. You know why he's just a little bit faster than you off of that? I mean, other than experience. You're super heavy on your hands now. When you're raking. Oh, you have him? So when you're raking, ready? Come down, go down. Down. Down! You see how your legs are, your feet are back? Get this foot up here. And that foot right here. And try to get lighter on your hands. Set! Do you feel how you can get lighter on your hands? You're not like 
propping yourself up on them. Does that make sense? All right, cool. Set. Your reaction time was way better on that, right? Good job. Set. Good job, Alex. Set. You rigged too. Set. Yeah, you just need to focus like super light hands, right? And then closing that fist, stabbing at the ball and raking through. It's one fluid motion, okay? He's also pretty good at clamping, so. Shit! I would just get a little bit lower and bend my arms before the whistle. You'll get like more of a piece of the ball when you rake. Down! Set! Same thing, make sure when you're clamping against a rake, make sure you're really stabbing down the line, getting the weight on your hands off the whistle, right? And then that won't happen. Good rake. Down! Set! That was early. What is up with you and going early? Set. Good. Good job shutting it off. Try to keep your right hand a little bit lower though, right? You kind of lift it up when you went down the line. Try to stay a little bit lower and stab your weight into it a little bit more. But that was, that was good. Damn. Shit. All right, he just had a really good clamp on that one. But make sure if you're, if you're swiping at it and you're not getting anywhere, you just need to stab at it a little bit more and try to stay low when you do it. That's why I do through the legs so you can get more of a piece of it, okay? Shit. That was better. Good clamp down. Wait, have you guys been switching? Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Shit. What do you gotta do? What do you gotta do a better job of? What did I say? One of the counters is bringing your left hand towards you, right? Yeah. Damn! Last one. Damn! Shit! There you go. You had a piece of it. That was good. You just gotta stay low, stay in there, and rip through. You could have gotten that out, but you just lift it up after the whistle. All right, bro. I'm the only. You told me no. You bumped Lady Gaga, dude. Lady Gaga slapped. Bro. All right. Anyways, so now we're gonna get into a quick little uh, seating matchup. When we get to the tournament, we'll have these guys join. When we get to the tournament, they'll join us. Okay. So we'll get into seating right now. Does everybody know how reps work? We all line up on the line, rotate left every three. You'll, if you don't know, you'll find out. You're good. All right. So everybody grab a new partner. Oh, you tried to be cheeky with it, dude. That would have been sick. Shit. What are you doing? The ball's still on the ground. It's not one until it's in his stick, right? Come on. Don't give up like that. Down! Hold on, stand up. Suck. Shit! Oh. Dump. Dude, why is the ball over there? Shit! Shit! Whenever you lose two face-offs in a row, you gotta do something different. Whether it's like clamping with like a little bit more pressure or countering, right? Just 
make sure you do something different. Down, set. Dude, careful, yo. Set. Oh, he just pulled that out from underneath you. You had, dude, you had it off the whistle too. Good pull, Alex. Ready. Shit. He's a. Shit. If you run. Shit. Oh, it's a rake. You weren't expecting that, were you? That was good. Shit. Falls out. You gotta keep, yo, you gotta keep your pressure on it. This is a very, very like specific detail. But when you pinched it, right, he got the ever so slightest piece of it. But when you, the reason he was able to do that is because when you pinched, you came here. You see how I'm exposing the ball? You need to come either straight up or crank it forward and then exit. Right? Yeah. Down! Shit! Oh! Chase! Set. Trip, trip, leave it, leave it, leave it. Dude, why do you have no tape on this? Uh, never have tape. Dude, that is the I only know. reason why you lost that face off. Your hand speed's there, you had like the whole ball, but when the second he wrenched his left hand, your head went like this, because it slid in your hand. You need tape on that. Yeah. Damn! Shit! Uh, that, that was a good rake. <clears throat> Control that exit a little bit more. It shouldn't be all the way up. Shit! <laughs> Shit! There you go. Shit! Set. Stay with it, come with him down the line. You disrupted his exit on that. Down! Shit! There you go, stay under it. Good job. That was better. Look, you see, I know you didn't win the rep, but do you see where that ball just went? All the way out. That could go to your wings or out of bounds, right? Rotate. Shit. Oh, you have a piece of it. Look, yeah. Balls out, balls out. Oh. Shit. Good pop. Oh, oh. No! Oh. <laughs> Gotta get your butt in low, that won't happen. Down. Shit! Oh, good check. Balls out. Shit! Oh, you want her. That was, dude, that was good though. You're trying to anticipate. Come down though, I'm gonna fix something else. Come down. Ready? So you see how your fist is like this? Yeah, make it like that, and then bend that arm just a little bit. Good, perfect. All right, well, thanks for coming. Good work. See you, bud. Damn! Shit! Good exit. Shit! Oh. He's quick, but that was a good job of you getting down the line, right? Mm -hmm. Set you up for a good counter. All right, Br uh, bring it up, points. 
All right, eight points, zero points, line up. If you're tied, shit. Good exit. Shit. There you go. Let's go. Where are you going? Shit. My real life first time oh. taking this. Good. Well, you're done. Shit. Balls out. Oh, good strike. Good strike. Good. First time we got a ball. Ooh. That's a point. That's a point. Set. Yeah. Set. Yo, if you guys weren't ready, focus up. Closer to the line. Yep, point them towards your opponent. Down. Set. Set. Good rotation. Nice exit. Well done. <coughs> No way. No way. <laughs> good clamp. It's a good clamp. Hey. You gotta rip this out, bro. Come back. Both of you are around. Yeah. Shit. The pressure, Dom. Find the exit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good footwork. Good footwork. Good footwork. Shit. Yeah. Set. Good exit. Good exit. Scoop through. Scoop through. Good. Good. Two, one. Set. Oh, that's a 50 50. Good counter. Balls out. Oh. oh. Yo, you got Stop. I feel like that went pretty well. You guys have? Do we have any uh, questions, comments, concerns? Anything you want a quick little overview of? No, nothing? All right, cool. Let's get a quick group photo, and then I'll get the top three, and then you guys are out of here. All right, facing this way. Yep.